Glad to have you with us with his head-to-head -head between the Buccaneers and the Bears. The Bears playing on the road, always a difficult place to win. What does the traveling team have to do? Well, Gus, there's no question that uh, not only do you have to overcome a terrific football team, but you have to overcome one of the toughest environments in the National Football League. So emotionally, you almost have to find your own energy on the field. The bench has to be alive. You have to be cheering for each other. You just have to create that raw emotion to overcome what the crowd is giving you on the other side. All right, Chris, and with that in mind, time to get this one going. We are ready for the NFL on EA Sports right now. The Buccaneers are hosting here and want to be able to keep the home field advantage going as we get ready for this one, Chris. What is the key in this matchup? Well, Gus, I think you said it best, home field advantage. This team needs to come out and rally early to get the fans on their side. If you have thousands of fans screaming and cheering, you feed off of that and you can turn it into some positive stuff on the field, this should be a great game in this one. All right, Chris, with that in mind, it's game time, and we've got two teams really ready to rumble. And coming to the field, the quarterback, who hopes to lead this offense to victory in this game. They'll set up shop at the 21-yard line. It's first and 10. He's got room. We'll get our first flag of the game. Holding. He's tackled Offense. around the 43-yard line by Brown. First down. Cooley gets called for the hold. And first down once again, but they'll be backed up following the penalty. Hillis takes the give. And as we look at the key offensive players, receiver Marcus Colston out of Hofstra is establishing himself as one of the elite receivers in the NFL. Yeah, you're right, Gus. Marcus Colston helps any offense run as effectively as it can. Having the deep threat is vital to this unit. He's a big guy, but he also is just so strong on those underneath patterns. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. Time to meet the defensive starters who are built to stop the run by being strong up front. Defensive tackle Kevin Williams out of Oklahoma State anchors a defensive line that is extremely strong. Well, that's because Kevin Williams is extremely strong. He's one of those few guys who can power through a double team and wreak havoc in the backfield. First down, 10 to go. On their own, let's say 43. Hillis. On the give. A seven-yard play. Seven yard That'll bring up second down, a couple of yards needed to convert. Hillis gets a call. Michael Huff was there for the stop. a first down and 10. The ball is on the 39-yard line. Steps and throws to the left side. Crabtree was the intended receiver on the play. They'll face second down and 10. He's looking down the middle. Throws. David Harris was there to bring him down. Pick up of eight on the pass. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. And that's the end of the first quarter. No score after one. The Buccaneers, nothing. The Bears, nothing. Nothing. 
Hillis gets the ball. And they didn't get it. Great play by the defense. You always hear coaches talking about whoever gets lower. Get your pad level lower than the offensive lineman. That time, this defensive line did exactly that. It's up, and it's good. So that will make the score. The Buccaneers, three. The Bears, nothing. Tampa Bay is just about ready to kick this one away. Munerlin is back to receive the kick. And the tackle was made by Weddle. They'll go to work at the 19. First down and 10. Here's the long bomb. Jericho Kachery was the intended receiver. You bring a little pressure and it impacts quarterbacks and we saw it there. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Hands it off. He's brought down at about the 25-yard line by number 96. And with that, we have reached the two-minute warning. We will be back after this break from your local stations. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Third down and four coming up right here. Two minutes to go in the half. He rolls out to his right and looks left. Throws. Ty Hill was there for the stop. They complete a long pass play. After a big play like that, it's really important for the offense to get in the huddle and get out, keep this attack going. Right now they have the defense on their heels. Throws to his left. Gage was his intended target. So they'll face a second and 10. So the ball on the 49. Tucks and runs. He's free. 
the Bears have decided that they're going to come out and run the ball on this defense, and so far there's no sign that they won't succeed. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Jackson. Gets it on the draw. Number 39. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line by Bierman. Only a yard needed to convert here on second down. Passes out to the left. It's broken up by the defender. He knows he just got away with one there. That's a ball he should have never thrown. Short throw to the left. He's going to be tackled for a loss. And that was going for a loss of a couple. You know, sometimes as a quarterback, you have to be careful about dumping it down too quickly. Stand in there, see what you've got working down the field. That time they were all over that quick throw. And the kick is good. And he splits the uprights from way out. It's a pretty rare kicker that can kick a ball that far with that kind of accuracy. That was just a cannon shot. He makes it back to the 25. Nelson was there to bring him down. It's first and 10. Looks for the safe short throw. The stop was made by David Harris. Pass completed for gain of eight. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. Ops for a short throw. He's wrestled down at about the 41 by Scott first down 10 to go throws to his right it's intercepted well, we're going to have to put news in that old cliche about cornerbacks and defensive backs not being able to catch the football that was some play that time Going down the middle with it. Loose ball. Picks it up. And there is no worse feeling in the world than to cough one up and watch a defense jump on top of it. Passes it deep on the left side. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down, coming up. He 
he's going deep with it. It's picked. He's dropped down around the 42-yard line by Mack. So they'll go into the locker room with the score even. Welcome back to Tampa. Chicago will get the ball to begin the second half. This will be down to the end zone for a touchback. The offense will take over at the 20. And we'll have a first down and 10. Jackson, the ball carry. The Bears ran the ball very effectively in the first half, and here in the third quarter, they look like they hope to pick up right where they left off. Here comes the heat. <laughs> How many times do you see a team perfectly execute a blitz pickup and simply can't block the guy. And there's nothing the coaches can do there. They did their job, but the guys just got overwhelmed. So it's third down, 13 to go following the sack. He's going to his right. Throws. The Buccaneers did a good job forcing a three and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. No, he dropped it. At the 29-yard line. Brandon Harris was there for the stop. They'll start this drive at the 30. First down and 10. Quinn with the give. And the tackle was made by Trevor Price. Pick up a four. Second and six yards to go. On the ground, up the middle. Quinton Jammer was there to bring him down. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Hillis on the handoff. The stop was made by Michael Huff. At the end of the third quarter, it's still knotted up. The Buccaneers have the ball as we begin the fourth quarter, all knotted up. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They spot it at the 48. And the tackle was made by Trevor Price. Picks up six yards. They'll need about three yards here on second down. 
He's tackled around the 40-yard line by Toena. That'll make it third down. The offense needs about three feet for the first. And so we've reached the two-minute warning. Gives it to the back. He's brought down around the 35-yard line by route. It's first and 10. Ball on the 35. Here's a halfback. The stop was made by Koa Misi. The Buccaneers just took their first time out. So they have it at the 34. Throws it to the middle. And the tackle was made by David Harris. I always thought tight ends were sort of like pacifiers for babies. You know, just about the time that you need a little security blanket, you know where to go. Hillis takes a handoff. The Bears will take their second time out of the half. They're looking at a second and seven. Ball on the 21-yard line. Quinn will hand it off. That's a touchdown! They did just what they had to do, and now they have the lead. Well, that was such a big touchdown, obviously, and it also is going to take the field goal out of the equation as the other team tries to go back the other way. Quinn flips it right. He's able to run it in for the two-point conversion. Great job there. They were able to get it in for two. Tampa Bay gets ready to kick it away. Harvin stands back to field the kick. And takes off from his own goal line. He makes it to the 22. T.J. Hushmanzada was there for the stop. The offense will start at the 22. First down, 10 to go. Passes out to his right. Knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. Dumps it out left. And he's tackled right around the 38-yard line by Weddle. Watson gains about five yards on the play from their own 38-yard line. Searching for an open man. The pass is tipped away. Gage was the intended receiver on the play. Dumps it short. He's wrestled down at about the 49-yard line by number 91. He spikes the ball. They'll face second down and 10. Good coverage downfield. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Harvin was the intended receiver. 
Big down for the offense as they try to make up a deficit here in the fourth quarter. Goes through his progression. Goes for it all. Knocked loose before he could bring it in. Just engaged. Made solid contact and popped the ball out of there. Boy, that was a big hit. I'm not surprised at all he couldn't hold on to that one. Looking for a man. Has a man out to his right. He's dropped down around the 39-yard line by Brown. They line the ball up at the 39. Deep pass. He wants the end zone. Whoa, that was really lucky. That one wasn't picked out. Not a good decision at all there. It's now second down, 10 yards to go. Deep throw, Enzo. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. It's third and long, and at this stage of the game, there isn't much doubt that they'll be looking to air it out to convert. Looks like they decided to go for it here. Going for the home run. The defender bats it away. That'll do it from the field. We have top plays and stats coming up next, so stay right with us. And let's take a look at the Gatorade performer of the game. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited.